Hi guys, today I would like to teach you how to play Ohio by Neil Young. I've chosen the Live at Messi Hall version, um, in particular because I really much like the version he played there. It's, it has a, a magical quality to it, I think because of the, the tuning he used that evening or that night. Um, it's somewhere in between standard tuning, standard E tuning and standard uh, E flat tuning. So you get your, you get your regular E tuning, then you can tune down half a step. But it seems to me when I uh, play it back on tape or on uh, or when I watch the YouTube movie and I'm synchronizing with my guitar, it seems to me the correct tuning to play with that version is right in the middle of the standard tuning and E flat tuning. So this would sell uh, this is what it would sound like. important to tell Ohio is played in double drop D tuning which means the low string and the highest string they are one note from your normal tuning so when I'm playing in this special tuning these four notes second string, third string, fourth string, fifth string. These are in the middle of your normal E tuning and your uh, flat E tuning. These two, these two outer strings, they're tuned one full step down from where you would have your in-between tuning. So again. I hope this gives you the time to tune your guitar to uh, to learn the song. So you've got your big D chord. Sounds fantastic. Play all strings and your fret, second fret of the regular G string and the third fret of your regular B string. All other strings are played also. So Neil starts off in tuning, his down tuning is two other strings. some harmonics on the 7th fret and the 12th fret. Then it decides his guitar is in tune to start playing Ohio. And this is then what it sounds like. Yeah. 
played here was the whole chord, the whole uh, progress chord progression to the song. So it's quite easy. You got your D chord, your F chord, and your C chord for the verses. So play your open D string, hammer on second fret of the G string. Then you play your third string of your D string in your F chord. So D chord. together the open D string and the open G string. And afterwards you can hammer on on your open D string, the open string to the second fret. and accurate it sounds good however you play those three chords you can even play only the chords if you like and sing along with it but that's Neil style he uses a lot of hammer-ons and pull-offs and things like that which make that chord progression sound better to the ears. Also he palm mutes on the, on the open string, on the open D e string. like a regular G minor. Uh, this would be your regular G minor. The difference is you lift your two fingers one string. So I'm playing fifth fret <coughs> with my ring finger, fifth fret with my pinky and the other four strings are barred by my index finger. normal G minor chord, the first note would be 3rd fret, 5th fret, 5th fret, so those are one, 
one string. C chord. So and what it does is again a hammer on, a hammer on. You can play your C chord and then you play the second fret of the G string and you lift up you, you lift up off off your um, middle finger to have the open G string so it sounds like this what, what you can do too is play this variation you see It's a small riff that goes from the third fret of the D string to the second fret to the open, open string. This is in fact a C6 chord. Threaded notes, third fret of the A string, first fret of the B string. <coughs> so once again, the chorus, G minor, gonna get down. Second time he goes to a G major. So, fifth fret, fifth fret, open string, open string, third fret, open string. time to play your other movement, your other variation on the C chord. First time you can play this. They're the same as a C chord without using your index finger. And if you slide up two frets, you get your D shaped chord. Same thing. You do not use your index, uh, your middle finger. Just 
line up two frets like you would do if you play it on those cowboy frets here. So 12th fret, mute, 12th fret, open string, open G string, 10th fret, open E string. goes back into the riff, into the verse, and then he ends on... So he goes from the D, D chord, directly into the C, normal C shape chord, and he lifts off his middle finger to play, to have a pull off from the second fret of the D string to the open D string. you can end on the seven harmonic so. so once again Summer ride.